Now we go out and about with Jiminy Glick. I am just so excited. I really don't know where to put my excitement. I have an idea, but I can't tell it on television. But I want to say that I'm talking to one of the great stars of all time. And his name is Rob Reiner. Look at this boy right here. <laughs> it's a very nice to be on your show. You know, you know, you you were such a wonderful interview, and I've seen you over the years interviewing people, and nobody really interviews you. Oh, your, this is so wonderful your, that you're turning mom the and, tables. Did you have a good relationship with your mom and dad? I mean, how was that? I did, I did. I, I liked them to a degree. I thought that mother was... You uh, liked them to a degree? Yes. Your mom and dad. Mother was yeah. completely off her rocker. She was a mental case. As really? As lunatic as any human being could be. Really? But 14 personalities. She was, she made Roseanne seem like the gal next door. She was, she'd suck lollipops and she'd try to stab you with it. Wow. Oh, it was wow. terrifying. That must have been horrifying. Not really, it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. Did you have a brothers and sisters? No. Well, I mean, two are in institutions, but I don't count them. <laughs> I don't want that press out. What am I supposed to do? The next thing you know, I'll have to visit them. I've always been curious because I see you all the time. And all right, Bob, that's enough. Okay. You, 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 we, you first came on this scene, you were in so many things, but we loved you in that wonderful series, All in the... F all in the Fish. Yes, that's the one. You played Lamb Shank or Meat no, Pie. No, what no, was no, this? Meat, the Meathead. <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful. Yeah. Can I just keep calling you a Meathead? If you want to, yeah, sure. Meathead, when you were on... You, you guessed it in the Partridge family. Yes. You keep up with the Danny Bonaducci. Uh, you know, I don't think I ever talked to Danny Bonaducci. <laughs> Even when I did the Partridge family, I don't think we ever had a conversation. Because a redhead scares you. Uh, that's part of it. That was part of it. Did you like Lucy? Lucy Ball? Yes. I, I was to her house. Did you wish Desi had been there? I bet, I bet you wished that Well, I, you know, in. Desi actually and I had a big fight one time. You had a fight? Tell me that yes. story. Yes. Well, Rob I was, Ryan. I was, uh, during a rehearsal, I improvised a line, and he got very angry at me. He got very angry and started screaming at me. And with an accent, I bet. Yes, with a very thick Cuban accent. He said, come outside. Come outside, like this. I thought he was Cuban. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a bad it's Oh, a bad I see, because I said, it's really bad I didn't, I said, Desi Arnaz, yeah. a Swede. Yeah, we paid $10,000 a script. I don't want you effing around with the lines. <laughs> effing, effing. It's, it's, a, it's a euphemism for bad word. Uh, anyway, he says, I don't want you screwing around with the lines. Oh, no. See, see? Got very mad at me. Oh, that's wonderful. I loved, oh, I loved, oh, and you were on That Girl. Yes, and, and I also was in Gomer Pyle with Jim Neighbors. Jim was a lot of fun. He's You're... very, he lives in Hawaii now. Yes, he does. And he always there. hangs with Cara Burnett. Yes, he was and also he... good friends with Rock Hudson. Yes, and Roddy McDowell was, n there was never a summer where he wouldn't have Jim over. Is that true? That's what I would imagine. Yeah, Roddy, yeah, they would seem like they would be friends. Oh, that's wonderful. If they knew each other. It fucked Perlman, hated Jim Neighbors and said... Really? Yes, that fucked Perlman. Who the hell cares about him? Neighbors is like one twelfth the hero of it fucked Perlman. I mean, he's lesser. Sure. Now... <laughs> and you've directed so many wonderful films. What are they? Uh, Stand By Me. And Stand By Me? Who the... was in that? Danny Bonaducci? No, no, that was... Uh, Will... A Few Good Men. A Few Good Men, yes. That's another film I did. Jack Nicholson. Right. What's he like? Great actor. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! No, no, no. Cuckoo! No, no, no. That was a character he played in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I know, but I believed him really to be mad. You think he is mad? I think he's strange. No, he's uh, actually... You can't handle the truth! Who's, uh, why would he scream that at Tom Cruise, as well, if Tom Cruise had lied? Well, that was part of his character. That was in the script. He, he didn't make that written, up. So that way, he doesn't... You, you understand? said he improvised, and, and, and Desi got mad at him. No, no, that was me. <laughs> that was me who improvised. Desi got mad at me for improvising. Jack Nicholson was... I don't think... I think if you check the tape, Rob, and I know you, you run Castle Rock and we're all supposed to kiss your butt because of your fame, but I think if you check the tape, you'll realize how wrong you are. And I think you'll apologize. And I think you'll say, I should send something, and you won't because you're too wrapped up in yourself. <laughs> Do you think Tom Arnold's underappreciated? Uh, I think Tom Arnold is appreciated exactly the amount that he should be appreciated. Oh, I hope so. And this has been great fun. I've really this enjoyed it. This has been a lot of yes. fun. And Ricky Ricardo can go to 
H for daring to put you down. Well, I mean, he, he, we had just had a difference of opinion. Well, I'm sure you were being overly cocky, and he don't what did what he know? He just built an empire. But still, <laughs> <laughs> this has been a thrill. Rob Ryder, please come back. We'd love to see you. Oh, thank you, Sure, and be the kind of icon that your dad has been. And, oh, we're off. Okay, thanks. This has been great. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Yeah. You can just leave that. Thank you. <laughs>